Art Spitzer, I'm here to celebrate you, to thank you, to raise a glass to you, and to launch this Art Spitzer Award, a living tribute to a man who's given so much to the ACLU, 40 years. I worked with you for 19 of them, and I've been amazed at the breadth of your expertise, at your versatility. I was always amazed, like, who is this Art Spitzer guy who's in every single one of our lawsuits, whether it's the anti-terrorism and war on terror lawsuits, or the protest lawsuits from the World Bank to Lafayette Square, and that's because you're in such a key place, in such a key geography, a key affiliate, and you have played such a key role. So I really, hats off to you, Art, really appreciate you, I want to thank you for everything you've done. Wish you well, and it's no better way to pay tribute to you than to honor you with an award that will be ongoing of folks who follow in your footsteps. Congratulations, Art. You are so deserving of this award in your name and the fact that others in the future will also receive this award because of their work in the protection of civil liberties as well is so important. You have worked 24-7 for over the last 40 years to protect people's civil liberties. Thank you. Hundreds and thousands of people have been positively affected by your work. Thank you. As you know better than most, no civil liberties victory is ever permanently won. But there would have been many fewer victories over the past four decades if it were not for your tireless efforts. You have been a stalwart. And the ACLU, and even more importantly, the country, are better off because of your efforts. Thanks. When I was an attorney at National, we of course had our, our veins of competition and one major effort was to win Art Spitzer's favor because of course Art was a very tough editor and made us all immensely better attorneys. At one point, we were co-counseling on a First Amendment case. I emailed an opinion and Art responded with this email simply saying, I defer to Lee. I printed that email out, I highlighted it. If we ever had an argument, I pointed the email as a trump card. I am not currently in my office due to the pandemic, so unfortunately I had to make a perfect facsimile of this email, my prized possession. One important lesson that I learned from Art was um, the craft of writing a good civil liberties legal brief, especially the importance of tone. So many times, the government agencies we litigate against take ridiculous offensive positions that can easily be cloaked in some artfully draped legal doctrine. But Art repeatedly showed me that a little bit of wit or even snark can help draw the judge's attention to the horror that lies underneath those layers. Hi, Art. You know, back in 1980, when your predecessor, Ralph Temple, left, I remember wondering how anybody was going to match him. Well, you've more than matched him and become one of the ACLU's most durable and reliable heroes. You have kept your civil liberties compass exactly where it should be when not everyone else has. And that's why I think that the ACLU and the whole country needs people like you, Art, now more than ever. It's been my privilege and honor and pleasure to call you my colleague over all these decades. So don't stop now. Keep on keeping on. Art, uh, you have fought for civil liberties in the district where I've been a resident uh, for your entire career for 40 years, representing everyone from transgender employees to death row inmates to ERA and Black Lives Matter protesters. Uh, you are synonymous with civil liberties. In fact, I sometimes thought it was the uh, arts Civil Liberties Union uh, uh, when I was uh, a resident of the, of the district and, and saw all the work you did uh, on behalf of the civil liberties of us all. So congratulations on this award.